Hockey 605, and I'm here with Brian Frisbee, the manager of the Shields Ice Flex. Uh, we're out here for the grand opening. Could you have asked for any better turnout than you've had today? No chance, not at all. We, uh, you know, it, it wasn't a mandatory ticket sale by the Hockey Association or the Figure Skating Association, so it was just kind of a, you know, come and buy the tickets, come out and check out the place, and we're blown away by the number of people that have been here. But you know what? It's been a long time coming. People have been anxious for a new place to come and skate. And uh, there, there are a lot of, we've had a lot of looky-loos in the last month as we've been under construction and people looking and just anxious to see it. But now uh, they can get their real first-hand glimpse of what's going to be going on here. It would have been nice to have ice. Uh, we, we set this date about two months ago. Um, so it's kind of a hard, hard thing to know when you can put ice in based on all the construction that's still going on out here. But on a day like today, it would have been tough to keep ice going. It's pretty humid in here. Uh, but, yeah, the people certainly are going to get a feel for what's going to be going on out here in the wintertime. You can uh, just feel the excitement flowing through the hallways of this building. The kids are over on the other rink shooting on the concrete, and, you know, people and all your, all your uh, supporters got their booths set up. It's just really a great environment. Yeah, it sure is. It's fun to see the kids down there. We've got a little skills competition for them to see who's got the best shot and uh, foam pucks that they're shooting around out there. Uh, yeah, it's just cool just to hear the kids running around, and that's what this place is going to be all about. Uh, you know, it's really a youth facility. Uh, certainly we'll have our, our men's league and our curlers in here at some point. Um, but, yeah, just to see the kids running around and the excitement that they bring to the table, that's what this is really all about. Well, you know, everybody I'm talking to that has to do with, you know, the figure skater development and hockey players and just, you know, even recreational skating are just so excited about the extra opportunities that this facility is going to bring to the area. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we've it's already... Blossom, we've got Legends Hockey, who's got a table down there, Noel Needham. Uh, she just has a phenomenal camp. If you want to improve at hockey, or skating in general, it's not just hockey, but she's specialized in hockey, find Noel in Legends Hockey. She's great at what she does. Um, not only that, but, man, she is connected. She I is. mean, they, they know when Noel uh, calls, they pick up the phone and talk to her. about, you know, well, Walker Dewar, who's playing down in, for the Sioux City Musketeers, uh, Zeb Knutson for the Mankato Mavericks. You know, they've all gone through Noel, and, and Noel has a ton of connections, and uh, it's going to be exciting to have her out here. She's so connected that and so good at what she does that she's actually coaching an Omaha girls U16 team out of the Shields Iceplex. So they're going to travel up here to practice. Um, and they're out of Omaha, so that's how connected she is, so that's cool to see. Well, you know, and another thing that I think is really cool is people who have achieved her level of not only excellence as a player, but her notoriety a lot of times will have kind of a, an aloof air, but Noella just as genuine as genuine could be, just probably like she was when she was skating. Yeah, no doubt. She's also, uh, when she's on the ice, has a little bit different role. She's a no-nonsense but that's what she needs to do, and that's what she gets the most out of her skaters. My kid, uh, Sam, went to one of her sessions the other night, and he was sore for three days. And he was dinking around in the corner, and she let him know, you're not dinking around here. We're here to, to get serious about it and improve, and that's why the kids that go to her move on to the next level. Well, uh, what's, uh, what's up first for the Shields Ice Flex? Yeah, great question. Well, if today's kind of the kickoff, the open house, people just kind of coming around, walking around, seeing what the facility is going to have to offer. Uh, it was still under construction mode, as you can see behind us, it's still the sand floor. Um, but we're projected to start turning on the compressors in the back and making ice late next week. Uh, so our goal is to have ice in by October 1st on the south rink, uh, and shortly thereafter, hopefully on the same day, on the center rink here, on the Furniture Mart feature rink. And then once those two are done, we'll move over into the stampede rink and start putting the uh, boards in there and making ice. So, you know, November 1st, we're hopping. We've got all three sheets reserved ready to roll so we obviously have to be up and running then but we've got a lot of activity coming in here in October with some Sioux Falls Flyers knock the rust off. Noel's got a camp out here. Uh, figure skaters want to get going as soon as we open the door they're ready to move over here so uh, we're busy as soon as we open and we're, it's all about the guys in the back with the compressors to get those going. So, Well you know Brian uh, I'm going to let you get going. I know you got a lot of people to make happy today. I really appreciate your time but, uh, but I do want to say this uh, from the onset um, what this whole thing has come down to is people and having the right people doing the right thing. And they got the right person in you. Oh, thanks a lot, Randy. You know, it's that we, we're going to have a, a formal presentation to start this day off today at 11, but so many people showed up so fast and we're all over the place, we just kind of scrapped it. 
um, just because it would have been mass chaos to gather everybody. But, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly not just me. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, we, we can't give enough credit to the guy by the name of Joe Zuger, um, who had the uh, brains, the desire, the passion, the guts to stick with this project. Trust me, this isn't real easy, just putting up a three-sheet ice facility. Joe took a huge risk, you know, just yeah. laying it out like he did on this thing. And I, I would say... You know, a guy like him, you can't, I mean, he couldn't possibly risk enough to risk everything that he's got, but he, he took a substantial risk on this whole thing. No doubt about it. He, he's so well connected in this community and um, and he, really the community, and not just Joe that was the brains behind this and the, the, the driver to get this done, but the community involvement in the fundraising part of this. I mean, the, the community donated basically $7 million to, to build this place, um, which is huge. Uh, we're not starting this place out with a, a $9 million loan that we have to pay off. Uh, the community just stepped up to the plate and knew that it's what Sioux Falls needed. And not just Sioux Falls, but South Dakota. The South Dakota Amateur Hockey Association is having their board meeting next door at the Pentagon. So um, they know what's going to be going on here. They're getting their first look at it today. But uh, guys like Joe, again, and the community to put put the uh, right foot forward and get it going, it's it, a lot of credit's due to them. Well, and now it's in your hands, and it's in damn good hands as far as I'm concerned. Pardon the French, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Brian, thanks again for your time, and uh, can't wait to be getting our mail out here because we're spending so much time at the Ice Black. But, but uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to everything we can be involved in now. Yeah, thanks a lot, Randy. It's going to be fun to have you guys out here. Appreciate the time. This video is brought to you by MyPlayerPage.com, the best place for athletes to showcase their information. Visit us today.